Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Not enough. Move, move! Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. that I have to correct. I'm not full of anger. I'm full of love. I call out injustice, corruption, and crimes against humanity because I adore this city. And I want it to be better. What you hear in my voice? Nothing but love! Before you go, can you, can you sign this for my kid?
Don't panic. I'm here. Victims are out of danger. Just let the EMTs do their job now. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? 
Uh, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Dangerous. 
Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker, you're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Hey, 